Is driving at low RPMs killing your engine? The engine logging myth. You get that engine logging disease and there's no coming back from that. Well, things are never that clear cut. So the plan for this video is to systematically address what engine logging is, why it is dangerous, how to avoid it, how to identify it. And at the end, you should be able to conclude if low RPM driving is actually bad for your engine or your car. What is engine logging? Engine logging refers to the engine struggling to deliver sufficient power effectively in the current gear. The terminology starts from the verb to log, which means to carry or drag something heavy with great effort. Picture it as being on a bicycle in a high gear and struggling to pedal up a hill. Your life would be much much easier if only you would be in the right lower gear. Why it is dangerous? Engine logging puts extra strain on key components because they are forced to produce torque at low RPM that is not optimal. Using the push bike analogy, you are in a high gear, you want to go uphill. What do you feel at this point on your knees and on your joints? What is happening to your breathing, heartbeat and so on? You see that your body does all sorts of adjustments to compensate for the extra effort, exactly like the engine. But these adjustments will have a price. The main risks associated with the engine logging include increased wear and tear on engine components like connecting rods, pistons, bearings, premature ignition in the form of knocking with potential for damaging your engine, poor fuel economy and bad emissions, although those ones are not killing your engine instantly, overheating and also to mention increased wear in clutch systems, engine mounts, transmission mounts and everything that is there to absorb the nasty vibration and isolate you from, from your problem. How to identify engine logging? You can often identify engine logging by symptoms like vibrations, clunking sounds, lack of smooth acceleration, all of which signal increased stress on internal components. The issue is particularly common among van and truck drivers who may rely on their larger engines to compensate for being in the wrong gear by simply pressing the accelerator pedal instead of downshifting. Also, because they're not the owners of these vehicles, they are more inclined of doing this. Now, be honest with me. Have you ever had this happen on you or do you know someone that is notorious for doing it? I would really enjoy seeing your stories in the comments below. Maybe I'm gonna get ideas for future videos. To clarify the RPM issue, the low RPM should not be avoided by itself. As long as the engine produces enough power smoothly and without excessive vibration, it should be perfectly fine. Remember that the number doesn't describe the story completely. 1200 at uh, or on a 3 liter diesel is very different than 1200 RPM on a 1 liter petrol engine. How to avoid engine logging? Whenever you feel the engine struggling, whenever you feel the need of more power, just downshift, the RPMs will increase and the engine will be very, very happy. If you want to go in even more depth regarding your vehicle, you could start reading technical data about your engine and find out the optimum RPM range where top torque is maximum and use that for those moments when you need more power. Also, consider not flooring the accelerator especially when you are at low rpm you could feather in the accelerator and that will also help also listen to your engine and pay attention to the sound of the engine when it is happy and the sound of the engine when it's struggling to keep alive understanding these nuances will help you do the right decisions when driving your vehicle and now we reach our big big question is low rpm driving actually bad for your engine actually bad for your car low rpm driving is not bad for the engine as long as the engine is able to produce enough power smoothly without excessive vibration and stress it is running perfectly the idea that some people are being fixated just on the rpm value doesn't really make sense because 1200 rpm on a 3 liter diesel is very very different than 1200 rpm on a 1 liter petrol engine the key is understanding your vehicle's capabilities and knowing when to shift to avoid unnecessary strain now with the newer 
petrol engines, even the one liters with all sorts of fancy turbos, might be able to sit comfortably at low RPMs without any damage to the engine. Now, engine logging on the other hand is where things are dangerous for the vehicle, dangerous for the engine. Engine logging will mostly happen when the amount of power requested is far beyond what the engine is able to deliver for that RPM. What else can go wrong in a vehicle? Maybe the DPF or maybe the gearbox. If I miss something, let me know in the comments below. I'll be seeing you in the next video.